like to be a table games dealer at Sky City? So we've teamed Renee up with table games supervisor Rebecca Simu, who started working at Sky City when it opened in 1996 as a table games dealer. Wow, so what's it like working here? Well, it can be exciting, rewarding and challenging all at the same time. Why is it challenging? It's challenging because we have to deal with people's money on a day-to-day -day basis. And we have to celebrate their win and we also have to empathise with them when they're losing. But always remembering that they're here to have a great time every time. But not everyone is cut out to be a dealer. Applicants need sharp maths, good English and perfect eyesight. And then get through four weeks of dealer boot camp. Welcome to our training room. Here we have some students already in the middle of their training. Guys, uh, what's training like? It can be challenging and pretty full on, but it's worth it. It's really intense. It takes a lot of commitment. Well, it's pretty fun. Uh, you get to, well, you get paid to play games and have fun. I saw it as a massive career path because this job can take me anywhere around the world, and that's exciting. One of the most important things that you will learn as a dealer is dexterity, your card work, as well as chip work. Now let me introduce you to the fastest hands in all of Auckland, Mr Edwin Osa, who will be your trainer. Thank you, Rebecca. Hello, Renee. Nice to meet you. I'm just going to come over here and show you some card handling skills. Index Dealing requires a pack of card skills. First is riffling Slide and shuffling. The corner, and then you start again. You must play a mean guitar. I play guitar, but not that mean. <laughs> <laughs> and spreading to show the player that there is a full pack and that the cards aren't marked. Okay, so let's do some chip work. There are two things dealers handle in a casino, cards and chips. Best way to do is don't think about it. Okay, yep. Because chip work is all about speed and accuracy, it might take some time for an A to master it. A qualified dealer needs to be able to pick up 40 loose chips in 20 seconds. That's it, and then we show clear hands, okay, to make sure that we don't have any chips. Okay. All right. Gumby sack. <laughs> so, Renee puts these skills together and learns how to deal a game of blackjack, including a technique important when dealing with real players. How do you pick the cards up? Normally, we do always go from right to left, okay? So what we do is we press this one and then go up like this. Why do you pick them up? And... Now, we need to pick them up in order uh, in case that a player disputes their total and, and we can, what we call, reconstruct the cards so it's sterling in proper order. What's it like being a dealer? But once you get used to it and, and, and enjoy the game with the players, it becomes very, very fun. What do you enjoy the most? Meeting uh, a lot of new people, new players all the time, and especially if they, they enjoy the way you, you deal, they follow you, so you're like a superstar, you have fans following you and liking the way you deal and, and interacting with you. So it's quite fun. But you're going to find out because we're going to put you on the main floor and you're going to be dealing live. What? Evening ladies and gentlemen. So Renee's newfound skills are put to the test in the casino in a carefully managed and controlled practice session with some of her friends. So she's done the first step correctly by introducing herself to the table and welcoming everybody to the game. Hi, good luck everybody. Oh, good luck on your ace, sir. Her card placement is very good, exactly how we want it. Blackjack! Things are going well, but Renee can't let her guard down because casinos can contain people who don't play by the rules. Renee, keep your hands on the shoe, please. Sorry. OK, last player had 20. Dealer has 20. The reason why it's really important for Renee to cover the window of the shoe is because some cards could be marked. We might have people that could be potential cheats out there. So it's really important that she keeps her hand on that shoe and keeps that covered. The thrill of playing for money is entertaining, but for some, the thrill can get out of hand. That's why Sky City have a team dedicated to host responsibility. Dealers, housekeepers, cleaners, bar staff, everybody does an e-learning module which is about host responsibility. And that's problem gamblers and responsible service of alcohol. Back on the gaming floor, there are no problems with Renee's card and chip work. 18. Head on 18. 20. And there is another skill that is just as important. I want to see her communicate more. I want her to talk a little bit more, just to relax as she's dealing and get comfortable with them. She can be a mate to them, 
is not, but not too powerly. <laughs> Still maintain her professionalism. Dealer has 15, 21. Actually, I thought I had 21. Um, supervisor? Hi, ma'am. What seems to be the problem? I thought I had 21. That's not a problem. Renee was trained to pick up the cards in order, but did she do it when it mattered? If it's all been picked up correctly, we'll see what you've got. OK. OK, starting with the dealer's hand. She had 21, correct? Yes. OK, your cards should be coming up next. It's 20. It's fine. Found there was a lot of technical skills involved, like dexterity and maths, but personality was a big factor in it too. Overall, I really enjoyed it and I would love to do this job. To enter a career as a table games dealer at Sky City, you'll need to be 20 years or older. You cannot be colourblind and you must declare any criminal convictions, any significant debt and any conflicts of interest. You'll need to have a good level of numeracy and literacy and have excellent communication skills. You will need to obtain a certificate of approval from the Department of Internal Affairs. If successful, Sky City will give you four weeks of training in various games. Table games dealers work shift hours, so flexibility is important. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.